No, I was just thinking about this. It's so it's funny even about the late night show because we had a. Uh, we had RFK on the pod, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you guys yeah. spoken RFK? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's charming guy, really charming. He's Kennedy, he's a fucking charming. And uh and and he said something on the pod that was a joke. It wasn't a joke, it was serious, but it was meant in like a laughing way, right? Like and he basically is talking about because I asked him about, you know, hanging out with uh, Epstein. And he goes, "Listen, you understand like I'm I'm in New York at this time. Like he goes, I had Bill Cosby at my house, I had OJ at my house, I had Harvey Weinstein. He goes through the gambit of the worst people. On purpose, like he's trying to show, look how many awful people were in my life. Instead of these like Hollywood phonies that go, oh my God, Harvey Weinstein, how could yeah. how could you even be with him? And then all of them have fucking pictures sucking his dick on the red carpet yeah. for a fucking yeah. decade. Right, yeah. on their knees, yeah. Exactly, and he goes, and then you find out these people are swamp creatures and they're just absolutely disgusting. Yep. Now, and then I make a little joke to him. I go, I go, I mean, you hung out with good people too, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, of course, blah, blah, blah. So he's, the context is, Look at all these people that you can hang out with that you don't even know are awful, and then you find out they're awful, right? So Fallon does a joke, and they just take the section where he talks about uh, the people, you know, Weinstein, OJ, mm-hmm. whatever. And mm-hmm. then he does it, oh, my God, who else were you hanging out with? Jeffrey Dahmer, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I know. And uh, a few nights later, uh, Colbert does the same joke. <clears throat> Right. And and you see it and they're both leaving out the context that he's like, hey, this is how crazy is that this can happen. You can hang out with these awful people because you're in this social scene. You don't even know mm-hmm. it. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the context. Mm-hmm. Right. But they leave out the context of everything. And I'm watching this and I'm like, wow, like I see how I see how people could think that there is a conspiracy going on. Like when you see this information, you see like the same joke written twice. There's only three late night shows. They should be aware of the jokes that are kind of being made based off the same clip taken out of context. You're like, oh, my God, there's a conspiracy. But I think sometimes laziness presents itself as conspiracy. And and I'll bring this back to 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 capitalism in a second and why sometimes I get a little bit concerned about how we could be manipulated by outside sources. So the laziness is there are these writers, right? That they they know they just need to get jokes on in order to you know continue their life right they got to chase that the path of least resistance to 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 make money to provide mm-hmm. for their families mm-hmm. right they don't love that job they're not passionate about writing fucking knock knock jokes for Fallon or any of the other late night hosts it's not their desire a lot of them probably started as comedians stand up comedians they want to be out there touring and doing that this is what pays the bills protects their family that's awesome. But the path of least resistance is to write the joke they know will get on air and this joke will get on air. Right. It's a pretty easy joke. Like, look, this guy served you up silver platter. OK, put it out there. That's the path of least resistance. So now people see this and they're like, look, look at all these organizations that have a targeted strike on this candidate RFK. When in reality, they're just going through the path of least resistance. Now, here's my concern. You don't need like a nefarious group of people to like. Uh, create assets out of every single politician and lobby every single group if you can control the path of least resistance. That's the thing that scares me, Mm -hmm. right? I think that's the TikTok concern. If you control the carrot, you control the the culture. Bottom Mm -hmm. of it. Yes. Right? You control the carrot. And and, and an example of this would be with, with, for example, movies in China, like Hollywood knows if you get a movie in China, they take like 10 a year. If you get a movie in China, that movie's making crazy money, right? So now all of a sudden, Taiwan isn't going to ever be mentioned in a movie because you want to make sure it meets the Chinese standards. They are dangling the carrot, creating the path of least resistance, and then affecting culture. And I feel like that's one of the things, like capitalism is the best system, no question, without the best thing that we got. But... It was developed at a time where we were the ones consuming everything. We were the biggest consumers. Now you got some other money out there. And if the only thing driving us is capital, we can be manipulated by those sources out there that have the capital. So we have to have something else that guides us. Like that's the value of, I imagine, religion. That's a value of, of ideology. That's a value of American pride. But if you're at a place where you don't have an American pride and American identity, and the only thing you're going after is cash, <clears throat> whoever's got the cash is going to dictate your culture. So that's the scary shit about if China is running TikTok, which of course they are. They should. That's the game. That's what we would do. I'm sure that's what we do with our social media apps. And that's why they don't allow them in their country. But it's very dangerous when they could push certain levers 
to create certain conversations. And when some people in America don't want money, they definitely want attention. They'll do anything for attention. And if you get attention on this app doing these things that cause, I don't know, a little bit of a, hmm, a, a, a negative discourse, let's say, in America, it's concerning. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.